Hate Army General saying Hate Army shit. Hate Army. If your name is Hate Army. Money, money, money. Yeah, yeah. No. Dory Gullbox says, how was dinner tonight? Man, do you really want to know? <laughs> do you want to know the story? So, I shall tell you the story of my dinner tonight. To get to get the Warzone stream started. So, here's the deal of, of dinner. Uh, for many, many years, my wife and I shopped at exactly the same grocery store. Okay, I'm going to try to head to the center here. I'm going to try to cross. And this grocery store uh, had some pretty good stuff in regards to alternatives to red meat. For those who don't know, I have a condition where I cannot really eat that much red meat. It is called gout. It is an imbalance of acid in my body. And if I eat too much red meat, basically I get incredible swelling in my joints, pain. Basically what happens is these uric acid crystals build up in my joints and it's very, very painful. I can't walk. I'm basically on my ass for days. It's not a good deal, okay? Um, so I can't really eat red meat that much anymore. So I try to find alternatives. And one thing we were eating for years were turkey burgers. These big ass quarter pound turkey burgers and again we used to go to the supermarket it was like a store brand that they had and they were super duper tasty they were already pre-seasoned of course when i cooked them i would season them a little more in my own style but they were oh the fennec i've heard is like the best clone trained weapon right oh shit and that one's got five attachments well i'm gonna run around with the fennec then so that's what everyone says everyone says the fennec fully loaded is the best close range gun all right let me cross here so we like turkey burgers. But what happened was about six months ago, my wife and I decided to make a change. We had been shopping at the same grocery store for many years. And quite frankly, this was last year in the midst of like big inflation. All the prices at the grocery stores were up and everything. And we were like, you know, we want to make a change and do something different. So we ended up deciding we were going to go to a different grocery store chain. And we started going to a different grocery store chain. Um, yes, yeah, so revived, so nice. I figured it would be in the, in the actual ambulance. Um, so, we did. And we started going to this chain and getting new things. In fact, this, this different grocery store chain has a really good bakery department where we can get fresh bagels, um, all kinds of stuff, uh, like uh, ciabatta bread, which we, I absolutely love ciabatta bread. And now I can have it again. I haven't had it in so many years. I've been able to get fresh ciabatta bread again. I have double self revive. Um, so, this grocery store has been really good for all of that. But, a lot of the things that we used to get at the old grocery store, we kind of stopped getting. And one of the things was the turkey burgers. And then just the other day, my wife says to me, you know, we haven't had turkey burgers in like six months now since we stopped going to the old grocery store. Can you get turkey burgers at the new one? And, you know, we don't know what they're going to be. It won't be the same brand, obviously. But can you get them and see what they are? And we'll try them out and see if they're any good. So we decided that's what we're going to have for dinner today. We're going to have turkey burgers uh, and a side. And it just so happens we had leftover tater tots from making a casserole like a week or two ago. We're going to have tater tots and turkey burgers, right? So I'm at the grocery store. And we're look, I'm looking, and I, I swear to God, I'm like, where is the turkey burgers? I'm looking in the frozen section. I can't find anything. I see, of course, a million times of red meat. I see bison burgers, venison burgers. I'm finding uh, impossible burgers, which is veggie burgers, you know. I can't find turkey burgers. I go to the fresh meat section. They've got ground turkey, but they don't have turkey patties that are seasoned or anything. So I'm like, what is going on? And I actually had asked, and they said, no, but they don't carry them. I was like, what? No, they don't. This store doesn't have them. They don't for some reason. They just don't stock turkey burgers. And I was like, that's wild to me because the other store had like multiple brands. They used to have a store brand. They used to have, you know that brand Jenny O? That's the brand for all kinds of like turkey. I don't really like them. I think Jenny O sucks. It's like almost flavorless. But I mean, it's a very common brand that you can get for turkey products. I was like, you don't have anything? No, they have no turkey burgers in the store. They don't have them. And I was like, wow. So I was like, well, what alternatives do they have? And I started looking in the store, and they had um, salmon burgers. Yes, actually burgers made of fish. They had breaded fish patties. They had, like, breaded chicken patties. And then finally, after searching the whole store for something that would be kind of similar to turkey burgers, I found that they had frozen chicken breasts in a big-ass bag, half price. So we're talking a giant, like multi, like two pound, three pound bag of chicken breast. And it was on sale for $7. I said, holy shit, like that's really cheap for this much chicken. So I asked my wife, what would you like to do? Do you want fish? Do you want this? She's like, let's try the chicken breast. I said, okay. Now, cooking an actual chicken breast versus a turkey burger is a little different. Basically, the chicken needs to be cooked very, very thoroughly. Um, I already went in here, by the way. The chicken has to be cooked very thoroughly because chicken, if you undercook it, you can get very sick. You have salmonella, and you can have issues. Um, and so, the instructions on this uh, 
the instructions on the chicken breast bag says, well, it's different cooking times depending on if it's frozen or thawed. If it's frozen, it can take upwards of 25 to 30 minutes. If it's thawed, you can cook it in 15. And I said, all right, well, let me do that. Let me, let me thaw it. That way it'll be easier, right? So then it says you have a good you have stove top and you need to have a skillet with a, with a lid, which I do. I actually have a relatively new skillet with a lid. And it says what you're supposed to do is take some spray cooker oil, which we have the spray, spray oil, and you spray your pan and you toss it in there at medium high heat. Now, anyone who has a stove would know stove has different settings, right? So medium would be five out of 10. Medium high would be seven or eight, okay? So I put it up to around seven and a half. It should be like perfectly right down the middle. And it says what you do is you take these thawed chicken breasts, you put them on top of a pre-sprayed pan, and you start cooking them. And what you do is you cover it. And then you come back like every two, three minutes and you flip, okay? And it says basically after 15 minutes, those will be done, okay? I'm like, okay, cool. Sounds good. So I start cooking them. And by the way, the first thing I noticed, which I didn't notice last night when I grabbed these chicken breasts to thaw them out, is that the chicken breasts are not equal size. One is like gigantic and one is like mid-size. So one is like definitely like a third bigger than the other. And I'm like, well, that sucks. Just, just to start, that sucks because that means one's going to have to cook longer than the other. I can't even like cook them equally, right? Now, I did something very stupid. Did I start cooking the larger chicken breast first? No, I tossed them in together, which was mistake number one, okay? So now I'm cooking them and basically I get to like, I'm flipping them, it's like five minutes, I flipped it like once and you're starting to see a sear on each side. I'm like, oh, this is perfect. This is gonna come out nicely because I got 10 minutes left and it's just starting to sear. And then it got to around seven minutes. And around seven minutes, all of a sudden, things started to go awry as all of a sudden, some smoke started to come off the pan. And I'm like, wait a minute, smoke? I was like, if smoke is coming off the pan, that means that the cooking spray, and that actually means that the fat of the chicken is overcooking, like way too fast. So we got a problem here. So I started to turn the temperature down and turned on the fan that I have above my stove top to blow it out the, you know, it has like an exhaust at the top of my house. So I start, I turn it down, I'm cooking. All of a sudden it's like foosh. Not a fire, but like monstrous smoke, like nonstop amounts of smoke coming out of this pan. <laughs> I'm like, what the shit? I'll, I'll continue the story in a second. Where we're leaving off is that basically there's all kinds of smoke coming out in my kitchen. That's where we'll leave the story for now. Well, allow me to try to escape this asshole. And then I'll get back to the story. <laughs> I need to concentrate. Look at that nonsense. How did I get down so fast? That didn't even make any sense. How did I get down so fast? I had the drop on him too, so he had already lost some health. It's nonsense. So anyway, there's smoke coming out of the pan. I turn on the fan. There's smoke coming out. My wife opens up the back door. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So immediately I, I look and basically we're only about 10 minutes into cooking. The small chicken breast is done. It's ready to go. I'm like, how the hell? This is at 15 minutes. How is it done in 10? So I take that one off. The other one has bur is starting to burn on both sides. And I'm like, damn. So is it done? So I, of course, it's the fat chicken breast. So I take a big knife, I cut it, and I look in the middle. It's raw in the middle. So it's burned on the outside and raw in the middle. What does that tell you? It means the instructions were wrong. I'm cooking it on way too high of a heat, and it's cooking the edges too fast, and it's not giving enough time for the heat to permeate the middle of the meat and cook the center. So whoever wrote the instructions on the bag is a fucking idiot and basically told me to do medium high. I probably should have been doing medium at most and slower cooking this meat to permeate and make sure that it was cooked through. Okay. Hold on. Anyway, so that was really dumb. Um, I have a few shout outs to do, but let me finish the story. So, the small chicken breast is done and has just a little bit of like, like burn on the edges, but it's not bad at all. The big chicken breast isn't cooked in the middle, but it's burned on the outside. So I turn down the heat, I get it cooking, I put the lid back on and it cooks for like another five minutes. There's smoke, like the whole house is full of smoke now, okay? So finally I get it done and it's a mess. Like the pan is completely covered in black, you know, it over could burn. And so that's a mess. And, you know, the freaking fire alarm actually went off. Our ceiling fire detector, I had a smoke detector. I had to waft it with a fucking towel to get it to turn off. Um, it was basically a, a major pain in the ass. Uh, 
Excuse me. So, then we, you know, we ate them. They're chicken sandwiches. My wife's like, well, it tastes all right, but the problem is it's overcooked. I was like, so hers was overcooked. Mine was cooked nicely. It was actually juicy in the middle, but I didn't get to season it. It was burned on the outside in multiple places, so you basically tasted like burnt chicken. You know, it wasn't great. So, basically, I was pretty pissed because here's the thing, all right? When I cook for my wife, um... I want to do it nicely because my wife cooks 90% of the time, okay? Maybe once or twice a week tops I cook. So when I cook and I'm taking that responsibility away from her, I want to be sure I'm doing a good job because she's not cooking. I want to have her have, her have a good meal. It's basically her day off from cooking, you see? Um, and it, it pissed me off because I went out of my way. I was trying to find the turkey burger she wanted. The local grocery store doesn't have them. So I do something as an alternative. I go exactly by the instructions on the bag of how to cook it, and it's completely wrong and overcooked. It's like, what am I supposed to do about that, right? <laughs> it just does not listen. Was Kat upset? No. I mean, she definitely wanted a better meal, but she wasn't pissed at me or everything. She's like, what are you going to do? You did follow the instructions. It's not your fault. Yeah, but it's not a matter of fault. It's a matter of, you know, doing something nicely and having a good meal when you deserve it because my wife deserves it, and I feel upset that she cooks for me every day and I gave her a shitty meal today. You know, it really does piss me off. It upsets me. So, so there you go. That was a shitty meal. By the way, um, by the way, FYI, the tater tots also didn't come out exactly right. The instructions on the tater tots says just put them on, you know, a baking sheet and bake them for a certain amount of time. We brought them out and they stuck to the baking sheet, which basically means that was wrong too. The tater shot should have had cooking oil to stop them from sticking to the baking sheet, and that didn't say to do that in the instructions for them either. So, <laughs> what, it, what it is, is that they try to write these universal instructions that apply to like every single person ever who ever owned like an oven, and it doesn't work that way. Like it should definitely have, oh shit, there's a guy right there, you see him? Anyway, no, what I was going to say was, if the, when they write the instructions for these, these anything frozen, you should have several different instructions, seriously. And it should be like, here's the situation, you know, this chicken breast, this bag of chicken breast has breasts of various size. If you have one of this size, cook it this way. If you have one of this size, cook it that way. By the way, you know, you might want not want to do medium high heat. You might want to do just medium depending on how good your oven is and stuff like that, or your stove top. It doesn't do that. It just says, do this. This is how you do it. Well, it's wrong. It's fucking wrong for me. And I wasted, well, I didn't waste it because we ate it. We still ate, but it was a shitty dinner, you know? And that's upsetting. We have a shitty dinner. We're expected to have something good. Pisses me off. 